Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, and it's time to check out this week's weekly adventures. So first we have a 1.5, a 2, and a 3 star adventure. For the 1.5, we have Natural Magic. All cards cost 2 less. This is going to be yours and the enemies. So just about any deck in the game is going to be able to benefit from this. One thing to note, if you're using a cheaper deck, you're going to be able to play most if not all of your cards in the first couple rounds just be aware you don't run out of cards so throughout your match try to maybe pick up some draw just so you don't run out you really can either utilize this with some cheaper decks to just try to end the game very quickly since you'll be able to play all of your cards in the first couple rounds or for some more expensive decks like Nasus or Orn, so you can get their bigger cards out earlier again note that this is also going to apply to the enemy's cards so you do need to watch out for some additional early aggression from the enemy but pretty much play whoever you want for this this is just going to help whatever champion you're trying to play with and this is just a 1.5 star adventure so it shouldn't be too difficult for any champion for the two star we have narwhal blessing game start all players summon three golden narwhals you see that right here two cost two three with elusive and vulnerable and then the seat of power game start the foe summons a emperor's dais which you see right here when allies attack, summon a attacking sand soldier. Now, you want to focus on the Narwhal's Blessing. I think the best two champions to play with this would be Tom Kench or Garen, since at the start of the game you can immediately attack, hit the other player's Narwhal, since you can challenge them with that vulnerable, and then yours will start scaling up. For Garen, when you're getting the strikes off with these, they're going to start scaling. And then for Tom Kench, just when they're taking damage, they'll also be scaling up. So even though you and the enemy are both going to have three of them, very quickly yours will be giant elusive monsters, and the other enemies will die fairly quickly. Some other champions to mention, you will be able to benefit from that elusive if you're playing Kai'Sa, helping you get your evolution off quicker. For Nidalee, it'll be helpful that you have units on the board you could already transform. And then for some of the equipment decks, such as... Kane or Aatrox, you'll be able to re-roll your cards more aggressively just to get those equipment since you'll already have units you can equip. Again, giving you an advantage over the enemy's three narwhals since yours will be able to get buffed up with equipment and be much stronger. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with this, but I would say Tom Kench or Garen will probably be the best, most consistent to go with as you'll be able to scale these units up quite quickly. Last up, we have experimental design. Round start, each unit with two or less power has a 50% chance of being stunned and a 50% chance of gaining elusive this round. Sovereign's domination. Round start, the foe summons an ephemeral copy of the player's strongest follower that died last round. So if you're focusing on just having champions, then you won't really have to deal with this. For the experimental design, I would focus on not having any units that are two or less power. That way you don't have to deal with them getting stunned. But you should have a way to deal with the enemy's elusives. So either have some form of removal or CC just to make sure you're not going to be hit by a whole bunch of elusives. You might want to go with the champion relic that gives you three health and the ability to block elusives. That would be a decent pickup. And then you want to focus on not having your units die if at all possible. So don't go for some of the decks like Gwen or Misfortune because they summon a ephemeral unit every round. That's then going to die, making that the enemy is going to summon that unit every single round. Similar to the two star, you might want to go with some of the more scaling decks, such as Tom Kench or Garen, where your units pretty much never die, they just get bigger and bigger. That way the enemy won't be able to benefit from this. Or just go for a deck that's focused on using your champion as your main win condition, so like Diana, Jax... LeBlanc, any of those should be able to help you out. I think that was our Discord that just went off. I went ahead and muted that. But if you want to join the Discord, I'll put a link down below. Great place to discuss everything Path of Champions, including the weekly adventures. But there are several different approaches you can go with this. I would say just be ready to try to deal with the elusives, either having some form of CC removal or just the ability to block elusives. And then try to avoid letting your own units die so they don't become ephemeral copies for the enemy. One thing to note, if you're playing any decks with stuns, such as like Annie, where you're generating a stun every round, if you stun the enemy ephemeral, you're essentially killing it since it's going to die at the end of the round. So always a good target for your stuns if you have a deck like that where you can target the enemy before they're able to attack. But yeah, the best options here, either go for the decks that don't really have their units die, they just keep scaling up, or go for a deck that's more focused on using your champions to end the game and you're not really relying on your followers. That way the enemy is not going to benefit from this. 
All right, feel free to comment down below what you're running. If there's any powerful combinations that you found for these weeklies that I didn't mention here, comment down below, let your other players know. I know there's usually some powerful combination that I always forget until after I record these. So if you thought of any, put it down below to help everyone else out. And I hope you have a great week and a great day.